Hey y'all, it's Lauren Toyota. I'm hot for food. And I've got a really awesome, delicious, tasty appetizer for you that you can serve over the holidays, at your parties, maybe even for New Year's. We're gonna make ramen rolls, ramen spring rolls. So these are kind of classic fried spring rolls, but inside is the fillings of what would be in ramen, like ramen noodles and tofu bacon and corn. And we're gonna make a pomegranate sweet and sour sauce. Mmm, they're so delicious. This was actually all inspired by the ramen in my cookbook, Vegan Comfort Classics. Uh, you should try that because it's the best vegan ramen. That's what I called it, and it is. So I've taken elements from that and infused it into these spring rolls. So we're gonna start first by making tofu bacon. That's also in my cookbook, but I've made it many times on the channel. And the only difference is we're going to cut it into um, sort of French fries or shoestrings so that it fits in the spring roll. So we're gonna start with that. So take a brick of firm tofu, pat it dry with some paper towel, and then you're gonna just basically cut it into strips and then cut those strips into these kind of strips. So now you've got pieces that are gonna fit in your spring roll. You could even keep them long like this if you want, and that will fit in the whole spring roll. I'm gonna cut mine like this. So now you wanna make the marinade in a wide shallow dish and we're gonna add soy sauce or tamari, maple syrup, liquid smoke, and smoked paprika. And then give that a whisk to combine it, and then place all your tofu pieces in the marinade and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then you can lay these out onto a parchment lined baking sheet and bake them in the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes, flipping halfway through. You'll have some leftover bacon marinade, so you can even just brush it after you flip it halfway through the bake time, and then continue baking. So I have my cooked ramen. I just used packets of ramen. I didn't use the um, flavor packet because we're gonna add our own flavor to this. So in a bowl, we're gonna combine vegetable oil, soy sauce, miso paste, and sesame oil into a smooth kind of paste like this. Then you're gonna toss in the ramen noodles and some fresh cilantro. Not only is this gonna flavor the noodles really nicely in the spring roll, but it's also gonna prevent the noodles from sticking. So our tofu bacon is ready, our noodles are ready. We're just gonna transfer this off here so it doesn't keep cooking. Put it in a dish. Oh yeah, there you go. Or lift it off, whatever. So you can set this aside, it doesn't need to stay hot. Uh, it can cool off completely because you're just gonna roll it into the spring roll wrappers anyways. So before we get to roll in our ramen spring rolls, we're gonna make the pomegranate sweet and sour sauce. So you're gonna add some oil to a saucepan like this. Then add some minced ginger and garlic. And you're gonna cook this for two to three minutes until it's nice and soft and fragrant. Then you can add pomegranate juice, rice vinegar, granulated sugar, soy sauce, sea salt, ground pepper, and red chili flakes, and then stir to combine. Bring this to a simmer, which takes about three minutes over medium heat. While that's happening, mix cornstarch with water until smooth. And then once the sauce is at a low simmer, whisk in the cornstarch slurry and turn the heat down slightly. You can cook this for about another three minutes while whisking constantly. So once it's thickened and glossy, you can just set it aside. And if you need to reheat it before serving, you can. All right, so it's time to roll, y'all. Um, again, thaw your wrappers. These are the ones. I got the large ones. We're making big old fatties today. Um, <laughs> Unwrap these, put them underneath a damp uh, tea towel just so they don't dry out. Like very little damp, like just slightly damp. Um, also have a cornstarch slurry standing by. That's just to dab the edge closed. And then we've got all our toppings. So we have our tofu bacon, our ramen mixture. I did some very finely um, mandolin cabbage, bean sprouts, corn, green onion, and julienne carrot. 
Uh, it's gonna be so tasty. Have a baking sheet on standby where you're gonna place all the rolls when they're done. In the meantime, you can heat up a deep fryer with oil or you can heat up a large uh, heavy bottom pot on the stove with vegetable oil. Um, you can also just roll everything and then do that. These can sit for a little bit while the oil heats up. Um, I just don't have room on my counter to get the deep fryer going. So anyway, you're all good to assemble these and then fry. So uh, I'll show you how it's done. It's a little bit of an art. It's gonna take you a couple tries to get them nice and tight, but um, they're gonna be great. So you're gonna delicately peel two sheets apart and then place them on top of each other like this in a diamond formation with the point facing you. And here we go. We're gonna layer about a quarter cup of ramen noodles in there, a couple pieces of the bacon, some cabbage, now just watch carefully for how much filling I'm putting in because there's a bit of an art to filling it but not over filling it. Carrot, onion, and I find the bean sprouts and the corn need to kind of go beside like this so that you can tuck them when you roll. Tuck and roll, <laughs> isn't that what they say when you're like in a fire or something? Okay, so you don't want too much air pockets happening so tightly Cinch in this end like this, roll once, take your corners, tightly fold those in like that, tuck that, and tuck and roll. And here's where you're gonna use your cornstarch. You're gonna take a little dab of roux with your finger and roll it over. So place this on the tray seam side down. Also, when you place your finished rolled spring rolls on the baking tray, just make sure you cover those with a towel as well because the pastry will dry out while you're doing this. All right, now that our spring rolls are nice and tightly rolled, we are gonna fry them. I'm using my deep fryer. Um, you're gonna do them in batches of two to three or four at a time, depending on the size of your fryer or the pan that you're gonna fry them in. You definitely want them to be submerged in oil and it's gonna take three to five minutes per roll. You may need to flip them halfway through if the oil isn't fully going over the top of the rolls in your deep fryer. Look at these ramen spring rolls with pomegranate sweet and sour sauce. Oh, can I eat these already? Jeez. I wanna eat them, that's it. They're so good, they're stuffed to the max. Oh yeah. Oh my oh God. The sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Well, I'm obsessed with spring rolls. Every time I go for pho or like anywhere I can get a spring roll, I get them. But homemade ones are way, 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 way better. Mmm. If you've made the best vegan ramen from my cookbook, let me know in the comments below. Mm, okay, well I'm gonna eat 12 of these, so see you later. See you next week. <laughs> I'm here every Wednesday, of course, posting amazing vegan comfort food. I'm hot for food. I'm Lauren Toyota, subscribe. Follow me on social media, at Lauren Toyota, at hot for food. Get the cookbook. These are next level people. You need to get the book. If you already have it, buy it as a gift for your cousin, your friend, your coworker, your child, whomever. Just get the book again. Uh, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. I can't wait. I'm eating more. Toodaloo.